Here are the visual instructions on how to add colour to your drawing. Step 1. Learn to blend colours. When colouring in, please use light pressure and small circles. Please do not use uncontrolled uh, pencil marks that go in one direction. You need to be building up your colour intensity with applied pressure and by adding layers. Step two, you're going to learn how to mix colours. So to make it a dark red, first you're going to add a light layer of grey first. Now you can add a light layer of red, building up your colours. Uh, any coloured pencils with a sharp edge are really useful to uh, get into those tough corners. Adding white can help you lighten a colour or also blend your pencil marks. Please be aware that an eraser will not erase all of the coloured pencil. Also be wary of smudging your colour. You need to be labelling all of your colours that you're using. Step three, how to choose your colours. So you're going to grab your art book and you're going to want to look at the image that you're going to draw. You're going to grab some pencils and you're going to test out these colours in your art book. Try to match the coloured pencils to parts of the image by holding it up close like so. It's likely that you'll have to create your colours by mixing them. Please be aware that white is rarely ever just white and it's more likely to be a light grey. You're going to need a variety of shades of colour. It's really important that you're labelling all your colours so that you don't forget what colours you've used. Uh, check your image against your colour tests like so, holding it up, folded over. But as you'll see, at the moment this isn't quite right, my first test, so I need to keep testing. and keep checking and keep labeling. Yep, that final one there, I find is pretty close. As you can see, I've used four different colors to make that shade. You need to write down the order in which you also applied the pencil. It's a little bit like trial and error. As you'll see, these yellows are a little bit too bright and they actually need to be a bit more dull. So to do that, I have applied a light layer of white grey first and then with a layer of yellow on top. And yes, again, that's pretty close. So to lighten a colour, you can either put down a layer of white first and then a colour on top. Or the other way around, you can add your colour first and then apply a layer of white on top. As you can see, uh, both have a little bit of a different effect by adding what order the white goes down first. So you're going to choose and circle your final colour recipes. And it's just really important to test out these colours in your book first so that you don't avoid any big mistakes on your final artwork. So step four, now we're ready to begin your final artwork. So lightly shade in uh, all the areas of tone and, or shadows that you can see. Also, please remember to really emphasize the highlights on your uh, drawing. Keep building up those layers. Change the color intensity with pressure. Look closely at your image. Your pencil marks should not be visibly seen. They should be smooth and blended. You need to have a wide range in tone to successfully create realism. Step five, don't rush your artwork. Are there any questions?